Hello! It's an, it's uh, the uh, OST review of this week for the Esoteric Podcast. Hello everyone, I am TJ Bunker, and with me as always is Wesley. This week we listen to Kingdom Hearts, the first Kingdom Hearts. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Um, what did you think of it, Wesley? I, uh, I really liked it. It's a nice... Um, uh, a calming in places and bombastic in others. I, I really liked it. All right. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, this one was. Uh, uh, I'm I'm kind of indifferent to it actually. Um, I remember when I played the game. I thought it worked well with the game. I played the original Kingdom Hearts numerous times. Um. Love that game. Always enjoyed the soundtrack with the game. I thought it all fit well. But as a standalone soundtrack, I don't know. I'm, I, I, uh, nothing really stood out except for, you know, the obvious things like the end credits music and the the opening credits music. And But as far as the individual, like, world's music and battle musics and, uh, I mean, you know, um, it, it all kind of just, there's nothing wrong with it. Yeah. Nothing exciting about it either it's it's a thing where i don't know um i think i'd rather go back and listen to the uh, super mario galaxy soundtrack some more while while doing things around the house rather than than the um kingdom hearts one i I don't know i think it i think it kind of needs the gameplay i guess yeah Um, um and that's um actually it's funny i was uh playing um kingdom hearts 1.5 final mix uh a couple of days ago and uh, Do you have the PS3 version of Kingdom Hearts? Uh, yeah. Um, uh, what what is that collection? It's got Kingdom Hearts, Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories, and yep, that's the one I was playing. Okay. Because um, yeah, otherwise the final mix wasn't ever released in the U.S. Um, no, I was playing the Japanese. No, no, no. I was um, yeah, I was playing on my PS3, and I was like, I like this soundtrack a lot. You know, it's has that nice feeling to it of like you know. It fits well with the gameplay, but on its own, when I was listening to it today, I was like, um, I can see where it's good, but it, this this stuff really goes better with gameplay. Yeah, um, I don't, I was writing a contract while I did it, because, um, that's a thing I do sometimes, I, I write contracts for things, um, yeah, and it, it just didn't. I remember when I was listening to the Super Mario Galaxy soundtrack, that that really, really captured me. And whatever I was doing, it, it was aiding, well, and occasionally hindering. Um, you know, because, like I said, the Super Mario Galaxy soundtrack has some very, uh, um, um, you know, sad-sounding music that really kind of brought me down and, and slowed what I was doing and what have you, um, which, you know, is, is amazing. Um, but yeah, this one, I, I was just kind of sitting there, writing a contract, and it was playing. Um, just a very innocuous type thing. Um, I'd compare it to, like, elevator music, or <laughs> um, <coughs> something you, you'd play in a department store. Just really inoffensive, and, uh, you know, nothing nothing that stands out. Nothing that, uh... It doesn't do um, anything bad, it doesn't do anything good. Yeah, it, it's just one of those one of those things. I I don't dislike it. Mm-hmm. I mean, I just on its own, it, it's it's kind of a yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I I don't know. Um. Yeah. I, I. That is one of the things I really really bring up is that you know, on its own, it doesn't really do anything. But you know, when it's complemented with gameplay, especially Kingdom Hearts gameplay, it's really nice. Yeah, no, um, having played Kingdom Hearts, I was expecting to like it a lot more than I, than I do, um, as a standalone thing, because I, I remember playing the game, and, and it is thrilling, and, and fits so well with the gameplay, I was like, wow, you know, this is gonna be like that Super Mario Galaxy soundtrack, which is also very similar, um, Mm -hmm. but, yeah, not, not really feeling it as a standalone thing, so... Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know what 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 could have it used. Um, I don't even know. I mean, it's because it's not like it was all the same or anything. Um, 
I mean, we, we reviewed uh, um, Read Only Memories soundtrack uh, before this, and I remember one of the things we said in that is that it's um, all kind of that tech punk kind of feel, right? I mean, because mm-hmm. it, that, that's the way it has to fit in. Um, and obviously with Kingdom Hearts, you're exploring a bunch of different Disney worlds. Um, so, yeah, um, you, you get a bunch of different stuff, but... I don't know. It all seemed to blend together somehow. Um, about the only time I noticed the song ever changed is if it changed to a familiar tune, like when the uh, Winnie the Pooh theme or the you know Kingdom Hearts version of it kicked in. Um, mm-hmm. I was like, aha, Winnie the Pooh. Um, same thing when the Mickey Mouse Club theme kicked in. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, it was... Um, I don't know. I... It's probably still going to go into my um, mega playlist of uh, video game OSTs I listen to. But I have a feeling it'll be one of those things I kind of like, I'm not in the mood for Kingdom Hearts today type thing. Sure. So what, what would you do to make it better, though? I'm, I'm curious about that. Um, I'd say, uh, you know, dependent on the scene... Uh, you know, if it's a more livelier scene or livelier world, I'd liven up the music a bit, you know. Or in um, scenes where it's supposed to be more depressing, darken the music a bit. Okay. Yeah. I. Yeah, I don't know what, what I would change to make it better, because, I mean, it... Like I said, it fits with the gameplay so well. It's so fun and fits so well when you're playing the game should they even really change it? Um, I mean, because, you know, let's face it, you change it, it doesn't fit as well with the gameplay, but sounds better on its own. Did you really win anything? I'm I'm pretty sure it's actually called a lose. Yeah. Um, Yeah. But, you know, it's one of those things. uh, I I have a feeling I'll still like the Kingdom Hearts OSTs simply because I, um, I do play a lot of Kingdom Hearts when I do have the ability to. Um... Yeah. Yeah. Um, I I don't know. Um, this one was this one's really hard because I don't have a lot to, good to say about it. I don't have a lot bad to say about it. I I normally uh, you know normally we're doing these things and well every time we've done one of these it's so far been a positive thing. We haven't reviewed a, an OST we don't like yet. Mm-hmm. Um. But, you know, over in our esoteric podcast, the regular podcast, we're talking about movies and video games, and we've come across some some movies that are just bad. Yeah. <laughs> just don't like them at all. Um, and, and we can go for hours talking about, about how bad movies are. Um, I mean, we, in fact, split Age of Apocalypse off, decided we didn't have enough time to say bad things about it in the podcast. We did an extra episode just to continue talking about how much we hate that movie. Um but yeah, yeah here I, I don't I don't really have a lot to say. Um, it's, yeah, it's not bad. It's it's not. I mean, like I said, it, it, it it's like elevator music. Um, I, I'm I'm fairly certain they could like play this in an elevator or play it in in uh, um, a convenience store, and <laughs> it's just that innocuous background music that that to, to, so that way it's not completely silent while you're wandering around the store. Um, yeah. Yeah, you know, and um, so. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. Have you ever wandered around a store that doesn't play any music? It's weird. Yeah. No, that is so unnerving. Um. <laughs> so. But but yeah, I mean, I've also been in stores where they play, um. You know, non innocuous music, and and um, I, I worked at a, at a um. Subway restaurant once that always played the local pop radio stations, um, mm-hmm. and yeah, um, sometimes that just was a little like you can never balance the volume right doing that because you know the pop mm-hmm. music's playing at different volumes and and it, it's such a weird thing. It didn't really, I didn't really think it, it worked. Didn't really like it, but um, yeah. Yeah, no, I think this Kingdom Hearts soundtrack would work very well in a situation like that. Just pump it out over some speakers, and it'll fade to the background, and nobody will remember that it exists, and... 
<laughs> wholly inoffensive mm-hmm. to a T. I. Yeah, it's. Yeah, it's um, not one of the ones I'm going to immediately scream best soundtrack ever. But it's not one of the ones I'm going to be like worst soundtrack ever, because that's reserved for Metroid Other M. <laughs> Everything wrong about that game. <laughs> yeah. So, bottom line for me, it's it's not the worst thing ever. It's not the best thing ever. I hesitantly suggest giving it a listen. Yeah. Um. My bottom line is, I guess, if you're looking for something inoffensive, um. I would say, you know, play it at your store or something, but you can't legally do that with a recording you bought on the, the thing. So if you're, I, I don't know, doing something that is where you need inoffensive music playing. I guess if you're hosting a dinner party or something and you want want something playing in the background. Um, or maybe while you're shopping, you got earbuds in, and you're just like, yep. Yeah, um, I, I guess that might work, although... While I'm shopping, I might go with something you know more like um, the the Super Mario Galaxy soundtrack, just because um, you know when I'm shopping, you have to pick my own music. Um, True, yeah. You know, I I would, but but you know, in like a dinner party or something where you don't necessarily want the music um, overpowering, you've got other people there, you know. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, I don't know, I. This one's this one's a hard recommend. Um, it's 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 hard to recommend this one for me. Um, it's mm-hmm. it, it's it's a thing. I'm I'm sure I'm sure lots of people like it though. So mm. um, yeah, that's that's where we sit on that. So um, this has been the Esoteric Podcast soundtrack review for Kingdom Hearts. Um, as always, I don't. Uh, I can't, I can't believe we forgot this at the top of the show, but um, as always, you can check out the Esoteric Podcast live on Twitch on Sundays. Um, you can check out that's usually about a two hour thing. You can check out the edited version of that same podcast. It's edited down to an hour, hour and a half. Um, we put that up on YouTube on Saturdays, the following Saturday after we live stream it on Sundays. Um, you can listen to these. Well, you're clearly listening to these uh, um, OST reviews, or this one anyway. Um, additional OST reviews are um, put up every Tuesday over on YouTube. Um, if you want to know when our new content's going up, uh, check us out on Twitter. We are at the Esoteric Pod over on Twitter. Um, we are looking to do a better job of participating on Twitter than we do, but uh, we do check it occasionally, even if we don't have a lot to tweet about. So if you mention us on Twitter, um, we will happily reply and engage you um, if, if that's a thing you're interested in. Um, we're, we're getting to the point eventually here in the next little while when we will be actually participating in Twitter with more than just updates of when our stuff is live on YouTube and Twitch. Um, yeah. But uh, And then if you really like what we're doing, you want us to be able to do more stuff, buy more video games, go to see more movies... Um, review more OSTs, um, do other content, um... Take over the world. Sure, take over the world. Um, you want to see our ugly mugs, um, you know, get us, we'll, we'll get some better sound equipment, some better, some cameras, that sort of thing. Um, support us on Patreon. Um, we are the Esoteric Podcast over on Patreon. Um, we, we will gladly accept your donations and, and your patronage, um... It'll be great. Um, and as always, you know, like, subscribe us here on YouTube and, and wherever else you find us. Um, and yeah, uh, that's it for this week. So until um, next time, everybody have a good day. Yeah. Until next time, goodbye. <laughs>